What is up, everyone? So this is a continuation of the Don Rust 2022. Let's see right here, boom. Let's see right there, boom. Hobby box. We did 12 packs on the first video. We are going to do the remaining 12 packs on this video. We are still chasing uh, either one auto or one mem card. But just as a review, if you didn't watch the first one, in this box you get three autos or mem cards. That or is important because chances are you won't get three autos. And it doesn't look like we are anymore. So far we have one auto and one mem in the first 12 packs. Uh, we are looking for Crosstown Rival um, inserts and uh, hollow blue parallels, which it seems like you get one in every every pack. We're also finishing up the Angel game, and the Angels are down 6-4 in the ninth to the Blue Jays. So we are going to go through this. We'll go through a little review at the end, and uh, I have about 20, 23 minutes to do these 12 packs, so we'll go somewhat fast. But uh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. With wish us luck on these final 12. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you haven't already, consider subscribing, liking the video. I uh, really appreciate it. We just try to have some fun here. I'm no expert. I just do this for fun and try to give everyone an idea of what you could expect to get from these different different cards before you buy them, you know? So, but it's all about positivity, having fun, and learning along the way. Here we go. I did sleeve up all the other cards while I was uh, unloading the other memory cards. So first card, John Heasley, rated rookie. And just as a review, these are what the standard cards look like. There's the front and there is the back. Uh, very thin. You can tell they are not premium stock. So, but box costs 125 bucks out here. Maybe you get cheaper on eBay. Diamond Kings, Brian Reynolds. I feel like we already have one of these. We got the McGill, rated rookie. We got Garrett Cole, wish he would have signed with the Angels. I know it's a big contract though, so long run we'll probably be happy that that didn't happen, but short term, Mike Trout's prime, you know? Randy Arozarena, we have this exact card, but it is numbered in the first 12 packs, and you can see the border. Border's a little different, still a base card, and Mike Trout leads off the ninth with a walk. So now we have Matt Duffy up here. We'll see what happens. Okay, we got our first numbered card of the second video. Right here we have Matt Manning on the rated rookie, and a lot of these numbers have been to 2022, and this one is two. So this is 966. You can see it in the top right-hand corner. Um, get a decent amount of numbered cards in here, it seems, but the numbers aren't that low. So 2022. You see this with tops as well with 2022, but you don't usually get multiple ones like this. So this box, if you're looking for numbered cards, if you don't mind them being high numbered, not too bad. So there we go, it's our first numbered. And the hollow blue parallel, that is what that looks like. We got Lance McCullers, and these are generally not numbered. Okay, now that we've gone through that as a review, kind of go a little faster. And that's pretty much the layout of how the packs go. They do not have logos. They do not have team logos because Panini does not have the licensing from Major League Baseball. So that is a bummer when you are opening these, but good value. If you're not looking to spend or break the, break the bank, these are not too bad. Okay, rated rookie, Gavin Sheets. I, okay, no double play there, but Salvador Perez on the Diamond Kings. Trey Turner, probably one of the fastest guys in major leagues. We got Cedric Mullins, second year with the Orioles. Ooh, we got one that we haven't got before. Yoan Makado, Makata, Moncada, sorry, with the White Sox. And usually you get two insert cards like this um, at the end of each pack, but it looks like we have three. So let's see, take a look at what this one looks like. First time we got one of these, it is not numbered. I don't know, what is that? Looks like Statue of Liberties on the the borders, they're in green. Um, but it's not numbered. I don't know. Um, 
you know, what these are. It's not numbered. Not the best here, but that's what that card looks like. It's a base card, just a parallel of that base card. Okay, there we go. And now we have two on here. We have an Elite Series, and this is numbered out of 149, 108 out of 149, and that is Mr. 3000 himself, Miguel Cabrera, on the Elite Series. The first time we got one of these cards, and it is numbered, so we're gonna take care of this one. Make sure this guy's going to the Hall of Fame. Kind of like another pool, pool host type player. Doesn't have the World Series, World Series pedigree as Albert, but he does have a World Series. Does he have one or two? Maybe two? Maybe one with Detroit, one with Miami or Florida at the time. But that's with the Elite one, and then they have an ES for the, for the number on there. So very nice. Very, very nice. And then our blue parallel to finish it off is the one and only Walker Bueller. There we go, Walker Bueller. Put up on some uh, some sleeves. Daughter's up watching the tape delayed game with me. I generally don't watch games live, so I do a good job of just not knowing what the outcomes are, and I watch them when the kids are asleep. But on the weekends, my daughter stays up with me and we watch. So she's just getting ready, and it is 1.30 in the morning. Here we go, pack number three. Packs are not ripping nicely. Okay. Deachman with the Chicago Cubs on the rated rookie. Ooh, Diamond Kings, Mike Trout, and you know the drill. We stop what we're doing. We pay homage to the Angel players, and we take care of them, even if they're not numbered or autos or anything along those lines. But we'll take care of Mike Trout's. We will take care of Shohei Otani's. Tyler Ward's. Brandon Marsh's. Joe Adele's. And Jared Walsh's, and the list goes on. We got Jaron Duran, rated rookie with Boston. We didn't see him when he was with the when the Angels were out there. I think he, they called him up recently. Chris Bryant, when he was with his short stint with the Giants. Tariq Skubal, second year. Whit Merrifield on that odd border. And now there are two back cards. Ooh, look at that color. Jeez, is that a silver? And they walk Stasi. So we got two on, two out, bottom of the ninth, down by two. Joe Morgan, oldie. And this is out of 500. So 111 out of 500. And it looks like, just looks like a silver, but it's numbered. So this is the thing that I have liked or enjoyed about this, um, this series is the number of numbered cards. We'll go over it at the end, but there's been a bunch of numbered cards. This is just a base card, you see there. But it has that rainbow effect, and then right here by my thumb, it's a 500. So, not too shabby. And then our hollow blue is a Juan Soto. We just saw him when he came out to Los Angeles. Or Anaheim. Ooh, there we go. Base knock, and Duff, Brandon Marsh. Brandon Marsh, the caveman, coming through. He's a defensive stud, and he can hit. So one soda, that's not, not a bad hit right there. Oh, very nice. Gotta play him straight up too, I don't even think they shift on him. He's a lefty and they don't shift on him because he can hit the other way, which is rare, which is rare. And he's high energy guys, been really fun to have on the team. Okay, let's see here. Man, I'm having... A hard, hard time with the ripping of these packs. Ooh, we got another one. Another Mike Trout. Millville Meteor. 
we have on the, the first video, if you watched the first one, we got this exact same card, but it was a numbered card. This one is not a numbered card. It's just your standard base card, but it is a trout. So you will get a top loader. Okay, and we have Taylor Ward, who's been hurt. Pinch hitting, we'll see if that does anything here. Got Cruz O'Neill on the rated rookie. I don't know if he's up right now. I feel like they keep putting him in the minors. Diamond Kings, Juan Soto. Mancado. Gallon. Gilbert Torres with the Yanks. And now we have our two, two cards. We have an Ivan Rodriguez, otherwise known as Pudge, the Hall of Famer. With that blue, so it's that weird outline border with a blue star. So we'll, uh, we'll take care of that. And then Trevor McGill, or Tyler McGill, sorry. Rated rookie on the blue hollow. Taylor Ward, come on, come on. If we could just get Taylor Ward back in the lineup, it's hard because he can bat with his injury, but he is um, can't field and show his or DH, so kind of puts us in a hard hard spot. Okay, here we go. We're still chasing that one auto. Hopefully, it's an auto. I don't want another mem. I'll show you what the mem is at the end. We'll get there. Yes, full count. Sorry, hit the camera. We got Riley Adams on the rated rookie. We got Juan Soto. We got McCormick, rated rookie. We got Walker Bueller. We got Jazz Chisholm. I've told you, like this player a lot, second year. Tommy Edmond. And then we have our numbered cards here. Ooh, there we go. Base is loaded. Base is loaded. Kyle Seeger on the number. He's retired. 2022. So this is 835 out of 2022. 825 or 835. We got bases loaded. We got two outs. It's the ninth inning. And the Angels are down 6-5. And they're doing a pitch and change. So we knocked out. Was that the closer? I feel like that's not the standard closer. But... There we go. And for our blue hollow, we have Ty France. Ty France on the blue hollow. So let's see if we can move while we are on commercial break. I'm gonna say I do not like how these wrappers are breaking. Okay, so we got Trevor Story now with Boston Red Sox on the Diamonds King. We got Brandon Marsh. Brandon Marsh, we'll take care of Brandon Marsh. Rated rookie who's been defensively amazing. Offensively, I, he's when it comes to like getting runs in, he has 20 something RBIs already. He's been he's been good. Brandon Marsh on the rated rookie. We got another diamond, Josh Donaldson. No controversy with him. Ozzy Smith, love the backflip when he used to enter the field. Jose Altuve, don't love when he's on the field, but he's on my fantasy team, so I need him to do well. Kyle Seeger, uh, one of my favorite things is watching. Oh, here's our, our last thing before we get in that. If you haven't seen the Jared Weaver uh, comments, <laughs> Uh, Jared Weaver and Kyle Seeger got into it one, one year and uh, Kyle Seeger was taking too much time in the box. Jared Weaver, his dog, was like, I don't like what he's doing. And then Kyle Seeger grabbed his cup and uh, <laughs> Weaver said he reached back with all 80 something uh, that he had and uh, nailed him right in the, in the shoulder. And uh, not to promote violence, it was just funny. No one got hurt. 
Okay, so we got our final, should be our final auto. I'm glad it's an auto, or an auto instead of a mem. Rise, Kenner, we've had the base on here, and it's the Signature Series, and that's what the auto looks like. These are thicker, they're not on card. They're not thicker than anything else. And uh, my autos were not anything of value right now, so um, there's not much hype between the two autos that I got. It's not numbered, um, but yeah, there it is. So we got to our, our, what should be our last auto, and then our blue is Christian Yelich, who's also on my fantasy team. There we go. Okay, we got Squid up right now, and it's an own one count. This guy's been crazy defensively for us. It's been a surprise. Davis Fletcher was supposed to be our shortstop, but David Fletcher had some hip issues. He's now out for extended periods of time. Picked up um, Andrew Velasquez, and he's been he's been stud at shortstop. And now it's 0-2. The bat, he's batting under 200 though, so. But he's had some good swings. Okay, Aaron Ashby on the rated rookie. We got an Ichiro. And if you guys haven't seen, there's a, a video that I have. Uh, I don't know if it's come out yet or if it will be coming out. It'll be coming out if it isn't out yet, but I got a really cool Ichiro card. Ah, uh, came over. Jeez. Oh, uh, Ryan Mountcastle. I'm starting to become a depressed Angel fan again. Jacob Stalling. Gotta try to stay as positive as you can. Got a Mike Trout. So the Mike Trout's... The one, I have three of these in this box, and um, the other two have Millville, the Millville Meteor. And uh, this one is, this one actually has his name on it. It's a little different. <laughs> and we're going to have a fourth one, which is hilarious. Okay, so we got uh, Mike Trout on the base. There we go. And then our numbered card. We got a numbered card in here out of 2022, and it's 1180. 1180, and it's Carlos Rondon. Rondon? 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 Uh, he was a free agent recently. I believe he signed with San Francisco. But that is our another numbered card very cool and then our fourth mike trout but three of them have millville meteor on them yeah but this is the blue hollow one so we will take care of this one because not only is it mike trout but it is a parallel so we'll, we'll make sure he's uh up here. There we go. The goat. The goat. Okay, here we go, here we go. How many do we have? We have five more packs. Five more packs, but we don't have that much time, so we'll see if we can get through them. If we can't, I still want to make sure that I close this off with a little review. But we've hit all the chasers that we're supposed to. We still haven't got a Wander Franco, so we're looking for a Wander Franco rookie we got a Shohei 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 base I believe we got another Shohei base but he was batting so a little different there we go pitching and a batting one I believe very nice we got Duvall on the rated rookie. Hopefully we can get a, a Franco. Joey Votto. Jim Tomei, also a Hall of Famer now. And now we got Blue Stars, Kevin Smith on the rated rookie. And it's not numbered, right? Not numbered. And Jake Myers with Houston. Is 
that little blue star. That's just a different parallel version. Okay, we're at 20, got about five minutes. So maybe two more packs. Okay, got two-time MVP, Bryce Harper, and reigning MVP for the NL. Got Mitch Haniger. We got Fidel Bruhan with the Rays. He's supposed to be a pretty good rookie. Came, he was up when he was playing, when the Angels were playing them. Anthony Discalfani. Giancarlo Stanton. Corbin Burns. Let me show you getting some color here. We got a numbered Fernando Tatis. This is out of 2022, and it is 652. So I guess best case scenario, you're looking to see if you get a jersey match. Because there's a bunch, if, if it's printed out of 2022, there's gonna be a bunch of these. It's not gonna help the value too, too much. And especially since Fernando's not playing. But yeah, numbers right there by my thumb. There we go, and then we got a Moncada. Moncada on the blue, the hollow blue. Okay, 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 here we go, here we go. We got Bryce Harper on the Mondo, the Mondo Harper. We got the Matt Manning on the Rated Rookie. We got Jose Ramirez with the now Guardians on the Diamond Kings. A Marcus Simeon, who's had a tough start here to start off his Texas reign. Max Freed. We got a Bryce Harper and not a Mondo on this one. And our got Josh Bell, my fantasy first baseman, along with Jared Walsh. And we got a Pudge Blue Hollow, not numbered. Can we get through these last couple? We have two. I'm trying to go fast here. Trying to go fast. At least as fast as I can. And of course, these things are not going to rip for me. Okay, got a Brian Dela Cruz, rated rookie. Got a Nando on the Fernando. We got Andre Jackson on the rated rookie. We got Tim Anderson with the Sox. We got JP Crawford, Seattle. We got a Max Muncy on that border one, and then our two cards back here. What is it? Probably numbered. Oh, we got a Diamond Kings numbered Trevor Story. And we got a Diamond Kings Blue Hollow on the Brandon Lowe. Okay, let's just do the final pack right here and see if we... I'll do, I'll still do an ending. I'll just have to load up. Okay, final pack. Brandon David, or Raphael Devers, sorry. On the Diamond Kings, we got a Shane Boz. On the Rated Rookie, we got a Marte on the Diamond Kings. We got a JT Rilamuto, the base. We got a Wilson Contreras with Chicago on the base. We got an Ozzy Albies. We're not gonna get a Wander Franco, are we? No Wanders, man. And then we got, ooh, this very nice looking card. Ronald Kuna Jr. And that's out of 999, 19 of 999, and a Rod Carew. Rod Carew on the Blue Hollow. Give me a second. <sighs> okay, so that will do it. I wanted to give just a little overview of this whole whole box. There's just under 200 cards here. So let's take a look. So we got the base cards here. Base cards, nothing crazy. Very, very thin. 
as far as what they what they feel like. It's no chrome feel or anything like that. Um, so we have those. Every once in a while, these are also base cards. You get these different border type cards. Same thing, but it has like a little retro back there. Um, and then with the hobby box, you should get one um, blue hollow in each box. And that's what the blue hollows look like. They're just the base cards uh, with a variation on them. A uh, bunch of Diamond Kings. Got a bunch of Diamond Kings inserts, the standard ones. And then every once in a while you'll get these like starred ones. So you, they'll be maybe the base or an insert and they have like a blue star. So we've seen that. These aren't numbered or anything like that. This one has the Statue of Liberty in green on the border around here. I don't know what the rarity of that is, but it's not numbered. More blue stars. And then this one's a white blue star one. So on the insert with the Diamond Kings, they're blue blue stars and then white background where the other ones are white stars, blue background. So get those. A bunch of number cards. Bunch of number cards. So um, let's see right here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we got ten numbered cards to 2022, which Big number, but it's cool to get number cards. So we got Matt Manning, Kyle Seeger, Carlos Rondon, Fernando Tatis Jr. We got the Diamond Kings, Trevor Story. We got Randy Arozarena on 2022. We got Isaiah Kint and Kiner. Henley Jansen, Yadier Molina, and then we got the GOAT. And you'll notice on this card it says Millville Meteor, not Mike Trout, but there is a Mike Trout version of this card, so a little different. All of those are numbered to 2022. Then we had other numbers that were less than that. Um, if, and we didn't really get to see this because it was running off on the last, the last, uh, last card, but we got a Ronald Acuna Jr. on the Marvel, which is a really cool looking car. Probably one of my favorite ones in the set so far. Ronald Acuna Jr. It's at a 9.99, uh, number 18. But this is an insert. Looks like that in the back. Um, but it has like a bronzish reflection on there. And if it's bronze, they're 99. So here's the Luis Robert trending. So you have those hashtags in there. But also the bronze. You'll see it's the bronze color. And this is out of $9.99. Then if it's a silver color, it looks like it's out of $349. So we got the uh, Garcia here with the hashtags. We got an Elite Series, Miguel Cabrera. This one's out of $149. $149. We got the Joe Morgan. This looks like it's just a base silver, but it's out of $500. Then our final numbered card on here is a Sean Manaya, and this is our lowest numbered one out of 50. So that was cool. A bunch of numbered cards in this set. And then you get three mem or auto cards. So we got our first auto, Rise Kiner. I'm probably mispronouncing that. It is not numbered. Signature series, sticker autos. Then we have Aaron Ashby sticker signature series and then we didn't get a third auto we got a mem we got a poppy david ortiz napkin so that is it um 125 bucks 125 bucks not too much you get 200 cards basically just under 200 cards uh 24 packs eight cards um i probably lost on i i'm pretty confident i lost on the value here but it's still fun it's fun um, I wish they had logos. They don't have logos. It's always going to be an issue for me, but uh, I would buy it if uh, you're looking just to, to rip some cards, have some fun, not break the bank, and uh, I probably will move on to another thing, but it's always nice to get at least get, get at least one of these. Um, so that was it. I hope you enjoyed that, that rip session. If you did, please consider subscribing to this channel, liking the video, and uh, you know, if you are a collector, good luck on your next rip. Talk to you later. Peace.